Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, AvriLR32 here, and smash the ever-living boo-boo stain out of that subscribe button so that we can climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. I just woke up a little bit ago, so I'm sorry if I'm not super energetic. Uh, I'm making several videos for y'all today. Happy Thanksgiving. That's what I'm going to be doing during my Thanksgiving because my dad has to work and my mom's still recovering from her rotator cuff surgery. So I'm just going to be helping taking care of her today. Her and I, her and I if I could speak today, I'm just going to chill out, relax, have a good time. We usually get the whole family together for Christmas and stuff, not really Thanksgiving too much. So I'm just going to be chilling out and enjoying the day off. So I hope that you are having a great Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for each and every one of you, and always know that someone out there loves you, because I do, and I'm very appreciative that you watch my content, truly from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate it. So let's talk about the market. What's going on on Thanksgiving Day market? So what's nice about being in a tier zero format is that really, minus any sort of tech cards that come out of the blue, or some reprints like Baroness de Fleur in Amazing Memories, or Maze, Maze Memories, whatever the hell the set's called, I'm gonna be talking about it later today. Um, prices tend to stay the same. Like they don't really fluctuate too much in a tier zero format. That's one of the nice things about a tier zero format, to be honest. So what are Barons at right now? We're looking at $73. These things were at like $95 to $100. Uh, TCG Player Direct before the reprint, if you wanted to buy direct, it was $130. So this right here should tell you, uh, and the chart, it just, it tanked, like it just, it took a dump on itself. Um, so yeah, I mean, should you get this? Uh, no, uh, the original prints do tend to hold their value, but it's going to take time for Baroness to come back up. Yes, we're not getting the maze set. I'm just going to call it the, I'm just going to call it the maze set. Like why not? We're not getting the maze set until like March, 2023. So uh, keep that in mind as you move forward with Baron. Really quick also, let's look at Mystic Douchebag. Um, wow, these are still holding their value. So the day after the balance, I looked these up, and they were like $5 across the board. You're looking at six sixty eight dollars for the secrets, 3 on the supers, and then 2 almost $3 on the gold. I mean, keep in mind that the uh, new balance doesn't go into effect until December 1st, so you still have about a week or so to play with Mystic Mine. And by extension of that, Demise of Durand. Uh, yeah, you're still looking at five bucks a piece. These were all at tens. They cut, got cut in half uh, after the balance drop. So Demise of Land still needs another reprint. I mean, it really does. Light of Destruction, was that, 2009 in the NoTS Pack 14? Uh, it, it, it needs another reprint in general. Uh, and also, I want to look at here, Dimensional Fissures. So... The Supers were at 100 out of the Champion Pack. They dropped down to 68. Need one more dollar for it to be nice. <laughs> um, Secret Rares are 15. Raw Yellow Secrets are 16. Dual Saga, 14. $20 on the Rares and then 7s and then 6s. So at lowest, you're looking at $6 a piece on D Fishers. Hopefully, this will calm down. I don't really think the card needs another reprint. I think it's just everybody's shitting their pants right now over it. Uh, same goes for Macrocosmos. You're looking at $100 on Dark Revelation 4. The lowest copy is $5. I mean, I guess. I Again, I don't think it really needs another reprint. Uh, maybe put D. Fisher and Macro into like the same OTS pack or something. But I think that these will calm down over time. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I don't think that Kishtari will be playing Macro and Fissure. I think they will to an extent. But it's going to probably be more of a side deck card. Because, you know, if you're playing 3 Shifter, 3 Macro, and 3 D. Fisher, you're potentially playing 9 Bricks. Like, that's just not good deck design. I also want to look at Battles Revenge Crystal Crap. So <laughs> this this set's just garbage. Like the Starlights are cool. Don't get me wrong. And we have an access code and a Celine. Excuse me. Uh, and a Celine reprint along with a uh, Draco Future reprint. But like the Starlights are just you're, you're better off just buying the singles. Like I would say for an Exodia set, I'm, I'd be willing to pay like nine hundred. Like I don't know why the right arm is one fifty eight. Each piece, each limb is one fifty. The head's three twenty. Give someone $900 in cash to, to get your Exodia set. Other than that, everything's maintaining pretty well. Ian shuffles at six, sure. Fusion Destiny twos. The tune stuff's whatever. Evil Twin Kishi killed dollars. Chaos Space, three dollars. Clockwork Knight is three. Um, yeah, th this this set's holding its value pretty well. I, I wouldn't buy sealed. Like, if you want the Starlights, just, just get the singles. Um, and then I want to look at Darkwing Boo Boo Stain. So, if you want to get in on Kishtari... The, the ship is starting to sail. Like, it's starting to slowly but surely move off the coast, ladies and gentlemen. These were at 56s. 
Fenrir's, okay? These are already up to 60, 250, 42 listings. So you still have some listings, but you don't want to wait until we get Photon Hypernova because then you're going to be like, oh, it's $80. <laughs> you just get your copies now while you can. Same goes for unicorns. I got in at 13s on mines. You're looking at 31 listings. They're now at $20. You are playing three Unicorn. You're looking at 60 bucks. you got to play three Fenrir. That's another 60 a piece. So if you want to play Cash Tira, it will be a Tier 1 deck when we get it. It will not be Tier 0 because it loses to Nibiru in Sphere Mode. But it will be a good deck, especially if, for whatever reason, our meta at that point is not playing Sphere Mode in Nibiru. This deck is just going to run rough shot over everything. So if you want to play the deck, get these cards now. I'm telling you again, get these cards now. <laughs> uh, Lubellions are 47. Sprins are 12s. Rucalo 7. Uh, Druidworms are 9s. Magnemuts are 15s. Jesus Christ. you got the World Sea Dragon at 5 bucks. I still have a copy. I, I would say for $5 to pick this up, that's not bad. Because of, I think eventually this card will get broken. In one way or another, it's going to get busted. It's just not seeing a lot of play right now. Same thing for Spellbound. If you want to pick up a set at 5 bucks a piece, I, I wouldn't blame you. That That's not really bad at all. Um, everything else is just kind of maintaining its value. The Starlights are whatever. The, the Starlights weren't really that good in this set, in my humble opinion. Next up here, uh, I wanted to look at Cross Souls in general just because I was curious. The, the Telenite Ptolemuses aren't bad. They do need a reprint. Uh, you're looking at Ultras for 15s, close to 16, and about $30, $31 for the Ultis. Um, let's look at the Ultis here. Has, has anything changed? Oh, that's right. You've got First Edition. I forgot about that. Uh, so Unlimbs, you're looking at 30s. First Edition's 32. That's still not bad for an ulti. If you want to pick up a playset for 90, just to hold on to for if or when it gets broken again, that's not bad. Same goes for booster boxes. You're looking at basically $162 for cross soul booster boxes. Yeah, it, $160, $175, and then they jump up to $250. That's not bad. That's really not, especially for sealed. If you want to invest and hold on to an old set like cross souls, this is the set that gave us Secret Rare Ghost Ogres, which are 32s, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon at 33. Other than that, the set wasn't all that great. We got some Harpy and Shadal support. We got Unexpected Die as a super. Uh, some old ultis here. Oracle of Zephra, because that's the field spell that every Pendulum combo deck plays. We got Lose One Turn as an Ultra in here. Um, yeah, no, this this set was kind of booty. Uh, yeah, we got some Fluffle crap in here. I don't know. I, th I think this set was actually kind of liquid ass, if I remember correctly. Well, we got Lizard Draw, and I, if I remember correctly, Pepe was a Tier 0 deck at the time, so Lizard Draw was just, hey, more free chicken nuggies. Um, yeah, it, it, it'd be good to hold on to for Sealed. Why not? And with a couple minutes left in this video, I, I want to look at um, like just Yu-Gi-Oh! in general. You're looking at Battles of Legend Armageddon Booster Box case, like a whole case. You're looking at $8,000. If you want a Masterpiece Blue Eyes, these have actually dropped a little bit. Um, so they were at like 4000 Right? Yeah, these were close to four thousand. They've actually dropped down to the three thousand dollar mark. So if you want a blue eyes, you're looking at uh close eh, thirty seven hundred dollars, but right now you can get one for three grand. That's actually that's really bad for the platinum series here because these were four to five thousand and now they've dropped off to three. It should be the other way, it should be going up, but I mean, if you want a platinum blue eyes, it's three thousand bucks. Two thousand for the elemental hero, or excuse me, twenty five hundred for the elemental hero collection. You're looking at two grand for Magic Formula Secret Rare. Uh, I guess uh, the Wind Charmers eight forty five. Metal Raiders Booster Box Unlimb, not even first edition Unlimb for two grand. Uh, Metamorphosis at eight hundred. That's probably like a mod play. Max C's not coming back. It's not going to be in the Trap Trick Structure Deck. Relax Uranus. You're looking at four hundred for Astral Pack four. Let's see here. That uh, of course that's for the heavy plays. Light plays seven hundred. Jesus Christ. Near Mint Italian is eight hundred. Yeah, you're probably looking at like eight fifty for English. Uh, Sparkman's out of the Mattel action figures are five hundred. Don't waste your money on that. Uh, pe started at Pegasus first editions three hundred. That's actually not bad. Uh, that that that's really not five hundred for the United We Stand. It's the uh, Prismatic. That's actually not bad either. Twenty twenty tens are over six hundred dollars. Prosperity Starlights are over six hundred because of course they are. Uh, Triple Tactics Talent Starlights are still holding value at six eighty even after the reprints. That's that's nice to see. Stardust has gone up. You're looking at seven hundred fifty dollars for the Starlight. It was holding five hundred for a while. Yeah, you're looking at Near Mint First Edition seven hundred fifty dollars. Those things went up. Yeah, I'm. That's that's good for Stardust. That that's not bad. If if you pull it, you get rewarded for it because you can still get boxes for like sixty piece. Starter Deck Joey First Edition. 
$1,500. Ancient Prophecy, the Ancient Fairy Dragon set. Unlimited edition, $530. Dollars one fifty for a Lone Fire Super, and they're getting bought out. Jesus Christ! And four fifty for the Black Rose. I'm so glad I sold mine. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your market. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Like I said, the prices are pretty stable. So happy Thanksgiving, guys! Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.